Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2022 video tutorial. I want to do that crankcase for my seven cylinder radial engine now in Solid Edge. Let's take a look at the drawing. So here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Let's start with a sketch on the top plane. So go for a sketch, choose the top plane, and this will be a circle at the origin, and the diameter should be 383. Close that sketch and make an extrude. Accept and make it 186 in that direction. Finish. Cancel this out. Now I want to make a hole. So go for the hole. Select that top surface. Put the circle right there at the origin. And the hole options. It should have a flat bottom, yes, it should have a diameter of 266. And the depth should be 166. Confirm. Close that sketch. Finish. Cancel this out. Next I need a plane parallel to the front plane. So maybe show them, go here, go for a parallel plane, select the front plane. And the distance should be 171. 171, enter and click. Now next sketch should be of course on that plane here. So go for another sketch, select that plane, move it a little bit over here. I will need a rectangle. It will be a square, so let's go for 154 on this side and on the other direction as well, 154. I will need a circle, which should be centered here, and should go to one of those points. So I will draw it up there and make it for construction only. It's because I need that center point. Now put some of those points here along here. And that should do the trick. So if I move now that yeah, it's connected. I will need another circle. Concentric to this one. And that diameter should be 170. 170. And it should be for construction only as well. Now I will need a line and that line should start here at one of those corners and go to the center here. Like that and it should be for construction only. Let's see if it moves along. Just to make sure, yes. Yes. And see that rotated. So this point should be right here. So I thought it snapped, but it didn't. So put it right there. And that's not possible. That's kind of strange. Because it should be possible. So it seems that snapped onto something. Let's remove it. And 
maybe put a point here right there and also a point here just to make sure I can snap onto this point and I need a line which goes from this point here to that point here and that should be for construction only let's see if that moves along yes and in that direction as well yes yeah, seems so okay now I can put another point right there at the intersection of those two curves here great now I need a distance from that plane to this point and this should be 103 and it should be aligned vertical so go for this point here and that point down below or just that hard to select go here and that would be one of those end points no so which point to to pick so maybe do it like this choose the plane and the point yeah close that sketch finish cancel this out and let's make an extruded cut with that sketch here except in that direction make it maybe 100 doesn't really matter but it should be enough to do it now I need a hole and the diameter of the tool should be 136 so let's go for a hole select that face or you could go for that plane as well would work I go for that face should be put right here and the options that's 136 and it should be with a dimension and let's go for 100 okay close that sketch finish cancel this out great now another hole again on the same surface and it should go here onto this point or oh, that intersection and that diameter should be 10 that's okay and the depth should be 20 millimeters and confirm close that sketch finish cancel this out now let's pattern first the cut out that's this one yes I always pattern those features one by one you could of course pattern them all together so let's go for another pattern the feature would be the cutout here except and the sketch should be on the top plane that circle might go up to this here in that direction that's okay and I need seven instances that's okay so close that sketch and finish then another one now with that hole too except again that's on the top plane again circle like that in this direction seven instances so close that sketch finish then I need another one 
now with hole 3 except and that would be on this plane circle should be right here maybe go here like that in that direction but right now I need only four instances close that sketch looks good finish and now our last pattern and the features I want to pattern is hole 3 and the last pattern except again on the top plane put a circle right there in that direction seven instances close that sketch finish okay maybe hide that sketch and the other one as well now let's add the missing revolve cut that would be a sketch on the front plane that will be a circle diameter is 80 yep and the distance from that plane to that point is 103 and of course this should be moved over here a little bit and let's add a dimension maybe from this one to that point here and this should be 140 and I will need a rotation axis so I go for a line which starts right here goes up maybe 200 and yeah let's try once more line which goes from this point here straight up give it a dimension maybe 200 make it for construction only and close that sketch finish cancel this out now go for that revolve cut select that circle accept select that line as axis and go for 360 degrees finish cancel this out yeah great and I'm done but as I, as I did with the other ones I want to reorder that tree so maybe drag that sketch before the cutout maybe like this and also that cut out before those holes like this and now I'm done so I hope this was helpful you hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please leave a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Twitter and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye